One more job shouldn't have mattered. I'd killed nobles before. You could float a whaling ship on the highborn blood I've spilled. Another noble steps in to replace the last one. All equally corrupt. Why should an empress be different? But she was. I watched her bodyguard's face as they took him away. Dead eyes. I knew I'd pay for this one. Maybe I deserve to. A storm was coming that would shake apart everything I'd built. My old friend, it's been a long while, but you've got my interest again. How the years pass and the bodies fall. Did you know that there are only eight like you in the world, bearing my mark? I'm here because you're right. The Empress was different. This time, you can't just fade away into the shadows. There will be consequences. Your story is close to ending, and even you can't escape it. But what ending will you make for yourself? I'm here to give you one last gift, Dowd. It's a mystery. One that starts with a name. Delilah. For six months, the city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. I needed to find my next move. But all I had was that name. Delilah. Who was she? A threat? Or an ally? Word came from my second-in-command, Billy Lurk. In a house built on secrets. Lurk was especially good at uncovering them. There was a ship called the Delilah. It hunted whales for Bundry Rothwild. A former deckhand who'd made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. In Dunwall, things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. Dowd, you're here. I got bored, so I started without you. Turns out we're here on the perfect day. There's a strike at the plant, and it's no wonder. Rothwild runs this place like a prison. The stupid workers can't even get in without a time card. When the strike started, the butchers confiscated all the cards they could find. They've given the city watch free reign to use force. If you ever wondered why I wanted out of the slums, here's your answer. There'll be other ways in, I'm sure of it. You don't mind if I tag along, right? Just to keep an old man safe. One last thing. I found something for you. I know you collect these. I'll be on the rooftops till you need me. Go on. Get off the property or we'll lock you up too. You have to give me back my time card. I can't get back in. You had no right to take it. Ooh. 
Try and get past me, and I'll see you swinging from a meat hook. Go home, mister. Orders are to confiscate those cards. No exceptions. I hope you die weeping. All of you. I hope the plague gets you. Ah. There's a man out on the river watching the place. If I weren't so young and pure of heart, I'd suggest he's up to no good. Report for work at industries deemed vital to state interests has been declared treasonous by the Lord Regent. They used to tell stories about a woman in the slums who did work like this. Granny Rags. They said she was a hundred years old. your fun butcher when does the oil start to flow again it's all fixed chief we got their time cards rounded up and now we got their mouthy leader someone supposed so to you know the regent duty. doesn't give a shit who wins your little labor dispute the regent cares about the whale oil coming out on schedule he'll get what he needs just keep the strikers in line uh. Taking away time cards on sight. Nobody gets in or out without those things. Time to send a message. You're. You're down. Down. Shit, I hope you ain't here for me. I'm just a little fish in a big pond. I want to know about a ship. The Delilah. Yeah, I heard of it. Listen, maybe we can help each other out. I work for a very rich man who's keen on seeing Rothwild's business go belly up. This whole business with the strike? Our doing. We got a mole on the inside, lady pretending to run the labor crews. A real talent. 
She could lie straight to the High Overseer's face and get away with it. We were supposed to meet up last night. I've been spying on the place all day, waiting to hear word. Only I haven't seen or heard a peep. I was about to shove off. You're here to make a little mayhem, anyway. Maybe you could find her. If she's still alive, she'd be able to get you everything you need to know about that ship. No question. And a substantial reward besides. The name's Abigail Ames. You ought to thank us. Sign the contract, and you'll be back at work tomorrow. For two-thirds pay-in with good men and women dead, we aren't signing anything without talking to Abigail. What's wrong with you people? There's folks in Dunwall begging to do your job for half your pay. Time card. But if you get us out of here, you can take mine. I'm not coming back. I already have a time card. Oh, I guess you got no real reason to help us then. latest thing from Sokolov's twisted mind. We're the first ones to get them. How do they work? Well, obviously, you... Actually, I'm not sure. Let's lay a few out. Stryker's gotta hit one sooner or later. Still need to get past that wall of light contraption they put up. If you can shut it off, we can slip past the city watch when the time is right. Is the wall 
of light down. You're free to go. Make your way out of this place. Thank you. Guess you took what you came for. Just, if you see Abigail Ames, tell her we still believe in her. Rothwild's got a stubborn reputation. I doubt asking nicely is going to work. We'll have to find a more persuasive means of getting what you want out of him. He's probably close to his office. We should start there. did look scared. Just at the end there. Because they can get fired for refusing to do dangerous work. Well, 
What? What dangerous work? We're the ones that do the dirty stuff around here. Maybe we need to be organizing, huh? Hey, that's not funny. You say that again, even as a joke, and you're way elite. Yeah, sure. I'm just saying. Stop listening in on that Abigail Lane's tricky talk. She'll corrupt you. No, no. My head's clear. I know which side my bread's buttered on. I'll be glad when we get the order to get rid of her. It's only a matter of time. for shipment to the most distant point of the Empire. And fitted for live cargo, too. Survivable, if they had a fast ship. I wonder who this was meant for. You box somebody up in that thing and they won't be back in town for months. is a makeshift interrogation chair. Rothwell must be using it to coerce employees. system in there looks like it will put down that whale in an instant. I almost think you should. I know they're just beasts, but still.
Just kill her. Drop her into the cannery. No one ever knows. You don't think. Bundry knows she'd be a martyr. A what? Like the Empress. She's dead, but they put her face on posters forever. They still care about her. So what are you gonna do? I'm not doing nothing. But Mr. Rothwild has her in his office right now. He'll work things out. And I hope you're right. But if she mouths off to me, she's whale meat. How much does he know by now? Ramsey? No, this is about the workers. This is about fair pay and safe conditions. Don't bother. You're not the first of his moles I've caught. What happened, Abigail? I trusted you. Extra elixir rations, bags of coin as bonuses. But you're about to see that my generosity is counterbalanced by a very inhumane side. Mr. Rothwild. Bundry. Don't call me that. That privilege is lost to you. You don't know, Ramsay. When he comes for me, he'll kill you. He'll gut you like the street filth you are, and feed you to the rats. Ah, uh, now it comes out. No one is coming. I've broken your strike, and my butchers are the finest fighters in Dunwall. Miss Ames. You're about to find out a few things I learned when I was a gaffer. I can do things that don't even hurt at first. This conversation is going to last a long, long time. You? Go you? <laughs> what? How did you get in here? You're Dowd, right? What are you doing? Who hired you? I'm here for information about the Delilah. Who hired you? Are you here from the Regent? Maybe he's here to put you in your special chair, Rothwild. Shut up! Kill him, and I'll tell you all about Delilah, and pay you as well. Quiet! She's giving you very bad advice. You won't be taking me alive.
I know all about the Delilah. All of it. And I can give you exactly what you want. Please do. Not so fast. I need something from you in exchange. That's what I thought. What? We're both professionals, Mr. Dowd. I was hired to get these gutless workers striking, which I did very nicely. And then destroy the slaughterhouse itself. That's where I got caught. And that's where I need your help. How? The whale oil in those tanks out there is enough to destroy this entire place. The important industrial bits, especially. Just open all the valves at once to let the oil start flowing. The pressure will go out of control and... Boom. What about the people inside? Growing a conscience? The factory workers are already out. My boss will hire them on, in better conditions than they'd ever see here. Not the butchers, though. They can die screaming for all I care. Don't try and con me. Wouldn't dream of it. Here's the key. Don't get caught. You take care of the slaughterhouse, and I'll tell you everything I know about the Delilah. You know... I could put you in Rothwild's interrogation chair myself. Why should I bargain with you? Because it's a long and messy solution. And I'm gambling you're not the kind of man who likes that. Make a deal with me. And I can tell you what you want, and pay you for your trouble. I'll consider it. to enjoy this. What do you want to know that's worth crossing a man like me? I want to know about a ship named Delilah. What's behind the name? Choke on your own spit. That's the kind of thing I pay your sister for down at the Golden Cat. We'll feed you through your own factory. See if we can get oil out of your blubber. You know your work, I'll give you that. 
We can talk this out, like businessmen. Why did you name it Delilah? What do you care? And it wasn't me. The previous owner named it after some sweetheart, a painting. Piss off! Who was the previous owner? Barrister Timch, all right? He told me the story. Lila was a woman he knew. Grew up working in Dunwall Tower. And got kicked out, became a painter. Funny airs, like I'm proud. She caught his eye, but it was worse than that. He couldn't think of anything else, just her. She whirled into his mind somehow. He built that ship for her, a lot more. Gave her half his fortune. Then he got scared. Came to be afraid. A man like that, afraid. He wanted to dump the ship, and I needed a business partner, so we made a deal. Then to change the name. Wish I'd done it. I hope that was satisfying. Here's the room key. When you're ready to go. Sir, earlier I spotted crates bound for the most remote corner of the Empire. Might be worth stuffing him in one, just to tie things off. He doesn't seem the type to forgive, of course. Why go through all the trouble, when a blade to the neck would accomplish the same thing? Attention. 
Under plague conditions, failure to report for work at industries deemed vital to state interests has been declared treasonous by the Lord Regent. They sent for the hounds. I'm still trying to figure out why you let the Empress's bodyguard go. And now Rothwild's snug in a box. What's got into you? Barrister Timsh lives up in the legal district. I know it pretty well. From what I hear, the Timsh family is practically at war with itself. Talk to his niece Tali if you can. I should probably tag along when you go. Crazy rich people are buying up a lot of that Sokolov security technology these days. Keeps the weepers and looters out. I might be useful. Let's go. 